Good morning and praise the Lord. I welcome you to Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church's Primary Sunday School Class, ages 5 through 8. I am your teacher, Sister Casey Fisher. For those of you who have joined my class before, you know we always begin by acknowledging and praising God for everything he has done for us. Think about all the ways God has helped you this week. Are you thinking of something? All right, hold it right there in your mind and let's get ready to give God thanks. That's right. On the count of three, we are going to shout as loud as we can. Thank you, Jesus. Is everyone ready? You are? Okay, let's go. One, two, three. Thank you, Jesus. One more time. Thank Jesus. And one last time. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, you guys did such a great job. You were nice and loud. I could hear each and every one of you. You know what? God loves when we praise him. He loves when we give him thanks. It pleases him, and we should always want to please God. Hey, you guys know what? We can ask God for things, too. We can tell him what we need. Let him know. What do you need help with? It doesn't matter how big or small. He will be there for you. You don't have to say it out loud if you're not comfortable. You can just hold it in your heart and God will still hear you. He wants to help. I have a little secret you guys want to know. You guys want to know a little secret? You do? Did you know that telling God thank you plus Telling God what you need equals prayer. Who knew it was that easy? And it is. Tell God thank you. Let him know that you're grateful. And then let him know what you need from him. That is how you pray. It is so easy to have a prayer relationship with God. Talk to him. He's waiting. So now that we know what our thanks are, what we need, we're going to put it together in prayer right now. Lord, we come to give you thanks for all the things you have done for us, all the things you are doing for us, and all the things that you are going to do. We appreciate and love you, God. You wake us up and keep us safe each day so that we can live for you. We ask you, Lord, that as we prepare ourselves for each day, that you direct our hands, our feet, and rest on our heart. Open up our understanding around the things we learn in Sunday school and help us to hide them in our heart. Help us to be wonderful examples of your love, your grace, your mercy, and help us to share your word with others so that they can live for you too. We thank you, Lord, and we ask of you all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's get ready to dive into our lesson. Be sure to look out for our special focus words.
Lesson three. I can do all things. This lesson text comes from Philippians chapter four, verses four through 18. Our golden text can be found in Philippians chapter four, verse four, and reads, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. What are some good things that happened to you this week? What are some bad things that happened? When did you most feel like wanting to rejoice? Do you know that you can rejoice even when you are sad? Having joy is different from being happy. Our happiness sometimes changes based on things that happen to us. We might be happy if we have ice cream for dinner, but sad if we have peas for dinner. Joy does not depend on anything that changes that way. Our joy depends on Jesus. He never changes. In our lesson today, Paul was writing to his friends while he was in jail. It was a sad time, but he found out how to be joyful and he told them about it. He told them to always have joy in God, even when sad things happened, because no matter what, God is still good. He told them not to worry about things, it is hard to rejoice when you are worried. Paul told his friends to pray to God when they are worried. When they told God their worries and problems, he gave them his special peace so that they could have joy. Paul also told his friends to think about wonderful and nice things, to be careful what they watched and listened to because it changes the way we think. All this may sound hard to do. Paul's friends had a hard time rejoicing and not worrying while he was in jail, but now they knew they could Ask God for help. When we go to God in prayer, he changes our hearts and minds. We can tell him our worries and he helps us with them. We can do all things with God. Did you find the special focus words? If you said rejoice or happy, you were absolutely correct. Congratulations. Now it's time for review. 
What did we learn? When you love Jesus, you will be happy all of the time. Is this true or false? False. You will still face hard times when you serve Jesus, but you can tell him about your worries and he will give you peace and joy. Be careful what you listen to and watch because it can change how you think. Is this true or false? True. We have to listen and watch good things that please God so that our thoughts will be good. Not worrying and thinking about good things is easy. Is this true or false? False not always easy to do what God asks us to do. We need him to help us. With God, anything is possible. Give God your worries. Rejoice in the Lord. God never changes. Remember, Jesus loves us all. Join me next Sunday for lesson four of our winter series, The Light of Christmas. This lesson can be found in John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 through 2, and verses 6 through 14. If you would like to participate in the upcoming lesson, please email me at caseysenoviafisher at gmail.com. You can share what you're thankful for. Tell me what most excited you about the lesson or share the upcoming lesson's golden text. Our upcoming lesson's golden text comes from John chapter one, verse 14. The word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory. Check out our other classes. On YouTube, you'll find our junior class ages 9 through 12 with Sister Robin Miller and our intermediate and teen class ages 13 through 17 with Sister Ray Deloach. On Telechurch, you can access our adult Sunday school class at 9 a.m. and Monday prayer at 6.30 p.m. by dialing 917- Nine zero zero one zero two two, code four seven eight one four seven eight one pound. You can also join us for our live streaming. You can access our live stream on our website at www.gbtac.org, or you can find us on YouTube. Facebook, and Instagram at GBTAC Cincinnati. Our Sunday morning service begins at 11 a.m. And our Tuesday night Bible class at 7 p.m. Do you need prayer? Our prayer counselors are available to pray with you. You can access them by dialing 513 913 
3625. Please consider supporting this ministry through one of our five ways to give. We thank you in advance for your support. For upcoming services and events at Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church, please visit our website at www.gbtac.org or call the church office at 513-681-9665. Until next time, have a blessed week.